Come on students, now we'll start the next problem that is problem number 20. Few more problems we'll do so that we can be able to complete the topic of contract costing. Nothing should be left unturned. That's my intention. Each and every type of problems we should be thorough. So we'll start the next problem that is problem number 20. Hope you have the hard copy of all the problems which I have provided in the link under my description. So the new viewers, uh, those who do not know, Please go to the link, get a copy and keep it ready before watching the problems. Now, 20th problem you see, you are required to prepare the contract account for the year ended 31st December 1989. Only contract account we have to make. Material, debit side, wages, debit side, expenses, debit side, expenses accrued due. Means outstanding. So expenses paid and expenses outstanding added both. Then plant, 2 lakh rupees plant was issued. Work certified 16 lakh. Work certified is given in the problem 16 lakh and 90% received in cash. 90% of 16 lakh was received in cash. Material at site at the end of the year, the material on hand, credit site. Depreciate plant by 10%. So plant method 10% depreciation nikalkar closing value credit site. Now 10% of the value of metal issued and 5% of wages may be taken. 10% of the value of material and 5% of the wages may be taken to have been incurred for the portion of work completed but not yet certified. Not yet certified means uncertified. In this problem, the value of uncertified work is not given. We have to calculate. In working note, we have to find out what is the value of work uncertified. So how to calculate the value of work uncertified? It is given in the problem. Take 10% of material. Jitra bhi material issue kare. Material issued 4 lakh rupees. So take 10% of 4 lakh 40,000. And 5% of wages. Wages are 5 lakh. 5 lakh ka 5% 25,000. So we take 25,000 of wages. And expenses to be charged as a percentage of direct wages. We find out what is the percentage of expenses over direct wages. And that percentage we apply in the uncertified work. Then ignore depreciation on uncertified portion of work. Ascertain the amount of profit to be transferred to PL account. The value of the contract is 20 lakh. 20 lakh rupees is the value of the contract. 16 lakh rupees is the work certified. 16 lakh work certified. Now see, contract account for the year ended 31st December 1989. By work in progress, work certified given in the problem 16 lakh, work uncertified not given in the problem. We have calculated in working note. I'll show it how working note we have calculated work uncertified. This is the new point. Then material at site given in the problem, depreciate plant at 10%. It is given that plant should be depreciated by 10%. What the plant issued value? Plant issued 2 lakh. 2 lakh rupees worth of plant was installed. And 10% of 2 lakh, 20,000. So 2 lakh minus 20,000, 1 lakh 80,000. This is the credit side. Debit side, to material 4 lakh, to wages 5 lakh. Expenses paid 1 lakh, expenses accrued 20,000. So total expenses are 1 lakh 20,000. Plant issued 2 lakh. Right? The only thing is uncertified work we have to find out. Now here you can see in working note. Calculation of the value of one uncertified work. 10% of the value of material given in the problem. Problem is that material is used, 10% lelo. Material is 4 lakh. So 4 lakh, 10%, 40,000. 5% of wages. Wages are 5 lakh. 5 lakh into 5%, 25,000. Now expenses should be taken as a percentage of wages. So we calculate what is the percentage of expenses on wages. So how much are the expenses? Expenses paid 1 lakh, expenses accrued 20,000. So total expenses are 1 lakh 20,000. And how much are the wages here? 5 lakh. So we calculate what is the percentage of expenses over wages. So here I have calculated percentage of expenses on wages. So expenses by wages into 100. 1 lakh 20,000 by 5 lakh into 100. 24%. In other words, expenses are 24% of wages. Jobi wages ring house got 24% expenses. So 24% of wages. Wages are how much here? 25,000. So 25,000 into 24%, you'll get 6,000. So 6,000 are the expenses. Add up 
we'll get 71,000 is the value of work uncertified. Value of work uncertified 71,000. So this is the only new point in this problem. Uncertified value is not given, we have calculated. Now take that 71,000 here. Take the total on the credit side, 18,91,000. From 18,91,000, subtract the four items. The balancing figure is notional profit, <coughs> 6,71,000. 6,71,000 is the notional profit. Now we need how much profit to be transferred to PL account. We have to find out what is the percentage of work completed. How much is the work certified? 16 lakh. What is the total contract price? 20 lakh. So 20 lakh rupees ka contract price is 16 lakh rupees work completed, certified. So what is the percentage? 16 lakh by 20 lakh into 100, 80%. 80% of work is completed. It's more than 50%. So two third of the notional profit. Two third of the notional profit will be transferred to PNL account. So notional profit into 2 by 3 into percentage of cash received. In this problem, percentage is given. 90% is given in the bracket. So 0.9. So 6,71,000 into 2 by 3 into 0 0.9, 4,2,600. So 4,2,600 is the profit to be transferred to PNL account. So here to profit and loss account, 4,2,600. Now subtract 671 minus 402,600. 2,68,400 balancing figure that will be transferred to reserves. That's all. This is the end of problem number 20. Come on, see the 21st problem. The following is the summary of the entries in a contract ledger as on 31st March 1985. In respect of a contract, prepare relevant accounts from the following information. Material purchased directly, material drawn from stores. So some material are purchased at site and some material are issued from the stores. Both should be debited to contract account. Wages, debit side. Direct expenses, debit side. Establishment expenses, debit side. Plan 34,000, debit side. Scrap sold. Some scrap was sold and some money amount was realized. This is an income. Scrap sold is an income. It will be taken on the credit side of contract account. Then cost of subcontract. Sometimes the main contractor will give on subcontract some work. Then expenditure will be paid. So the cost of subcontract should be taken on the debit side of contract account. It's an expenditure to the main contractor. Then you are supplied with the following additional information. Expenses due on the last date. Expenses due come up the the expenses which are not paid, outstanding. So how much are the due? Wages are due 900 rupees, direct expenses are due 1200 rupees. So wages will be added to wages paid and direct expenses due will be added to direct expenses paid or else you can show it separately. Included in the above summary of entry are wages 1000 and other expense 1500 since certification. Since certification ka matlab certification hone ke baad after work certified after work certified, some expenditure is incurred on material and wages. This will be taken under work uncertified. In a certification, hone ke baat ke kaam ko kaite, uncertified work. So here, uncertified work is not given in the problem. In working note, we have to find out what is the value of the work uncertified. So here, work uncertified, mein wages 1000, other expenses 1500 and material was 2200. By adding up these three amounts, we'll get value of work uncertified. Depreciation on plant. So plant jo issue kare, usme se depreciation minus kar denge, to we'll get the value of the plant at the end of the year on the credit side. Material on hand, this will be taken on the credit side. The total contract price was 1 lakh and 62,500 had been certified. Certified means work certified. 1 lakh rupees is the contract price, but 62,500 is the work certified by the architect up to 31st March 1985 when 58 work had been completed. That's all. So comparatively, this problem is very, very easy. The only thing is value of uncertified work is not given. And it is uh, specified in the problem that uncertified work consists of material, wages and direct expense. So simply in working note we calculate value of work uncertified, wages are 1000, other expenses are 1500, 
material 2200 so what is the value of work on 35 4700 so instead of giving directly 4700 it has specified what are the items that will be taken under work uncertified now contract account for the year ended 31st march 1985 debit side material purchased material drawn from stores both materials should be taken on debit side wages 18000 paid and wages outstanding are there outstanding wages are 900 you can add up this 900 to 18000 and put it 18900 also now you outstanding wages ko wages mein add kar sakte hain so you take the wages in the inner column 18,000, add outstanding wages 900, 18,900 in the outer column. Similarly, direct expenses paid 7,000 inner column, add outstanding direct expenses 1,200. So 7,000 plus 1,200, 8,200 you can write in the outer column. Separately you can show or you can add up to the respective expenditure. Then establishment expense, same we have taken. <coughs> plant issued, 34,000 plant was issued. Then cost of subcontract 7500. Outstanding wages I have not added, that's why I have taken separately. Outstanding expenses I have not added, that's why I have taken separately. Trade side work certified 62500 given in the problem. Work uncertified 4700 we have calculated in working note. Sale of scrap 1800. Plant at site. The plant was issued for 34000 and it is given in the problem there was a depreciation on plant for 8600. This is a depreciation. So deduct the 34,000 minus 8,600, 25,400 is the value of the plant at the end of the year. Then material on hand 10,000. That's all. This is the information here. In this problem, what is happening? Debit side, the total is more and credit side total is less. So we are getting loss. If credit side is more, we'll get notional profit. We'll get notional profit. Normally every problem, what is happening? Credit side was more than debit side, the balancing figure is notional profit. But in this problem, debit side is more. So we are getting the balancing figure on the credit side. So by profit and loss account, it's a loss. Balancing figure, 24,200. So ultimately we can say, there's a loss of 24,200. The whole loss should be transferred to p &L account. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 21. Come on viewers, we'll uh, start the last and final problem on this contract costing. Problem number 22. This will be the end of the topic chapter contract costing. The last problem you see, the following is a summary of the expenditure on job number 31 for December 31st, 1989. So we are given the uh, information regarding a contract. Direct wages 6,900, direct material 34,000, stores issued 3,800. All these will be taken on the debit side. Stores returned. This will be taken on the credit side. Subcontract cost. This will be taken on the debit side. Plant issued. Debit side. You obtain the following information. The job was begun during 1989 and the total contract price is 60,000. The contract price 60,000. The architect had certified that four-fifth of the contract had been completed. The contract price is 60,000 and architect says four-fifth of the contract is completed. That means work certified. The work certified is 4 by 5 into 60,000. 4 by 5 into 60,000. You can see here. Work certified 60,000 into 4 by 5. So it comes to 48,000 is the work certified. And uh, the architect has certified. Depreciation of plant up to 15th December. Actually, the accounts are closed on 31st December. But the architect has given the certificate on 15th December. 15th December, artist, architect has given the certificate. So any work done after 15th September will be treated as work uncertified. Will be treated as work uncertified. So depreciation provided up to December 15th is 4800. So plant issued jo kiye, usme se minus 4800 will get the value of the plant at the end of the year. Now, the summary set out above includes item relating to the period since December 15th. Since December 15th, ka matlab after December 15th, what are the expenditure? Wages 700, material used 1620 and plant 280. 
these three are the expenditure incurred after 15th December. These three combined together constitutes value of work uncertified. So you can see here, value of work uncertified, wages 700, material 1620, plant 280. So 2600 is the value of work uncertified. This we will take it here, work uncertified 2600. Working note we have calculated, that's all. Now, material on site at 31st December had cost 5000 and stores at site 400. These are the material and stores at site at the end of the year. So this would be taken on the credit side by material at the end and material at site, stores at site. Establishment charges are 40% of direct wages. So establishment charges should be debited to contract account. It should be taken at 40% of wages as given in the problem. A fine of 1000 rupees is likely to be imposed for late completion. The contractor may complete the contract lately. So contractee will put a fine of rupees 1000. But this 1000 is should not be treated as a contract cost. It should be taken as an abnormal loss in the books of the contractor. So any late fee imposed by the contractee should be treated as an abnormal item. So it will be taken separately in PL account. It will not come in contract account. So simply you have to give a note. Note, fine imposed by the contractee for late completion of the work is an abnormal item. It will be taken in PL account, profit and loss account. It will not be taken in contract account. <clears throat> you are required in respect of job number 31 to prepare a job ledger account, mean contract account. To show what profit or loss has arisen on the work certified and suggest what figures should be taken to PL account for the year ended 31st December 1989. This is the problem. Now, contract account <coughs> for the year ended 31st December 1989. To direct material 34,000, to direct pages 6,900, to stores issued 3,800, to subcontract cost 6,300. All these are given in the problem. Plant issued is 12,000. And establishment charges are given in the problem 40% of direct wages. So direct wages are 6,900. So 6,900 into 40% you will get 2,760. Debit side completed. Now come to credit side. By work in progress, work certified. 60,000 into 4 by 5, 48,000 rupees is the work certified. Work uncertified, in working notes we have calculated 2,600. Stores returned given in the problem. Plant at site, actually 4,800 is a depreciation on the plant given. When the plant was issued, the value of plant was 12,000. So 12,000 minus 4,800, 7,200 is the value of the plant at the end of the year. Material on hand at site, 5,000. Stores on hand at site, 4,000. That's all. We have taken all the items. Now simply in this problem, Debit side is more than credit side. So we are going to get a loss. Just like the previous problem. Here also we are getting a loss. Debit side total if you calculate 65,760. From 65,760 if you subtract all these items. The balancing figure you are getting 2010. And this 2010 is a loss. The whole loss should be transferred to PL account. Profit and loss account. Balancing figure. That's all. This is the end of problem number 22 and the last and final problem on contract costing. So totally eight videos I have prepared on problems and one video I have prepared on introduction theory of contract account. So viewers, students, if you want the complete comment, watch the, all the videos. Don't skip and don't watch the video from the middle. If you want the complete comment from knowledge point of view, from getting uh, the knowledge, watch the video, all the videos till the end. Hope you follow my instructions in order to get a command on this subject. Not only from passing the examination, but also to face the interview, to get a complete command on the knowledge. For that purpose, you have to watch it. I have explained all the problems in detail. I have not left any problem. Every problem I have explained you in detail. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, Please like the video, share in your groups and friends and subscribe my channel. 
in the next video i'll start the next topic process cost inshallah we'll start in the next video